What's up guys, Andy here with another episode of Tap Lab, and today we're going to be talking about the JAX mobile wallet for cryptocurrencies. I'm going to show you a little bit how to use it and how to use the shapeshift feature to exchange your coins for other coins. Let's close this out. I'll swipe over and open the JAX wallet. It is this orange icon right here. And when you first download the app, you'll have to create your wallets. It'll give you a huge list of wallets to choose from, and then it will display them up here along the top of the screen. So I have Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Doge right now. And then each of your individual wallets, it will show your current balance in the amount of coin and US dollars. We will have a Bitcoin address right here in the middle or the address for whatever coin you're on. And you can tap the two little papers right there on the right side of that to copy that to your clipboard. And that would be how you would send a coin from a different wallet to your Jax wallet. So if I had some Bitcoin on Coinbase, I could come to Jax and copy this address and then send it from Coinbase to my Jax wallet. I also want to point out that each of these wallets has a different address. So if you're sending Litecoin, you have to make sure you're on the Litecoin address. You can also send the currency by hitting the send button. And then let's say you are sending this to Coinbase. You would copy the address from Coinbase, paste it in here, right there. And then you would type in the amount of Litecoin that you want to send, or you could hit max. And then you just hit the send button. On the top right of the screen, we have a little menu that opens. It has some settings and information in here. You can select your currency on this tab. I'm on US dollars. And you can go to the wallets tab to select any coin that you want to add here. And there's a lot of them to choose from. So let's just add one real quick for an example. So I can hit the check mark on dash, and then I can hit the arrow on the top right to close that. And now we can see that I have dash added up here in my wallets at the top. And if I want to remove dash, because I'm not going to use it, I can open the menu again, hit the dash check mark and then close that and dash is no longer there so that's pretty much it for the wallet. It's pretty easy to use now i'm going to go over to litecoin and i have 0 0.045 etc litecoin in here which is worth about 11 dollars 39 cents and what i want to do is convert that to dogecoin i want to get some dogecoin and to do this we need to use the shape shift feature so what we want to do is hit the little fox icon right there in the middle of the screen that's going to open up the shape shift menu and then right here is a drop down menu so we can select what we want to convert our litecoin into so I'm going to select Doge, I'm going to turn my Litecoin into Dogecoin, and then I can hit Max, and it will say that I'm converting about $11.08. And as we can see down here, the orange numbers on the bottom, it says I have 0 0.045 Litecoin, and the max that I convert is 0 0.044. So I'm guessing that there is a fee of about 0 0.001 to do this conversion. But we're going to go ahead and convert this Litecoin over to Dogecoin. And my goal is to get a thousand dogecoin so this should do it so at this point all i need to do is hit send shape shift confirmation and it looks like i got 1393 dogecoin the mining fee was two doge and i can hit confirm or cancel i'm going to hit confirm and it says shape shift successful. So now if we go over to Dogecoin, our Dogecoin wallet on the top of the screen, let's try and hit this refresh button. It does say that, please note that shape shift transactions may take up to 10 to 20 minutes to appear in the target coins wallet screen. So it looks like I need to wait a little bit and then it should arrive. So I'll check back in 10 to 20 minutes here. Okay. So it looks like the Dogecoin has started sending. Down here under transaction history, we can tap on that and see that the transaction has started, but it's unconfirmed. So usually you need like four or six confirmations or something like that. Right now I have zero. So it'll probably just take a little bit to confirm this and then I should be good to go. Now about five minutes later, it looks like the transaction has fully gone through. You can hit this little refresh thing above the orange numbers there. 
and it looks like I'm good to go. I now have 1,392.72 Dogecoin. And I was just getting these Dogecoin for fun. I think it's a fun coin. Um, definitely not financial advice or anything like that. Always do your own research in crypto and make moves that you are confident in. And there you have it, an overview of how to use the Jax cryptocurrency wallet and the shapeshift feature to turn your coins into pretty much whatever altcoin that you want. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll try and answer them. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out my other channel that is focused just on cryptocurrency. I have a ton of information and tutorials over there, so head over there and subscribe. I'll link it all down in the description. I'll see you guys next time.